earlier in this space, I commented on various aspects associated with any crime scene. Four previous short videos have focused on the how, why, when, and what of extinction on Earth. Maintaining the crime scene approach, this short video responds to the question, who will go extinct? Who will go extinct? All life on Earth, as I indicated in a previous video. I could stop this video right now if only to move on to other activities in my busy life. I would rather take this opportunity to point out that the what, in this case, is the same as the who. Many people remain confused about this distinction, so they communicate and act as if we are a species more special than any other species. As human animals fully loaded with human hubris, we often forget that we are part of the animal kingdom. Interestingly, we had no such illusions until the cognitive revolution, which occurred between 70,000 and 30,000 years ago. For the first time, after coming into being about 320,000 years ago, the species known as Homo sapiens mastered complex language. For the first time, we could talk about things we have never seen, touched, or smelled. We were able to tell myths and even believe them. Think religions, legends, and fantasies. For the first time, we separated ourselves from other animals. In our own minds, we truly became Homo sapiens, the wise ape. That's working out great so far. We domesticated crops only to discover that the crops have domesticated us. We domesticated animals only to turn into servants for the animals we claim belong to us. We harnessed the atom and now we serve nuclear power. As Albert Einstein pointed out when he realized what his research would be used for, quote, if only I had known I should have become a shoemaker, end quote. Einstein also signed a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt urging the president to develop the atomic bomb. This letter paved the way for the Manhattan Project, thus leading directly to the dropping of atomic weapons on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Einstein later called his letter to Roosevelt his, quote, one great mistake, end quote. There is no turning back from this great mistake. We've made plenty of others, too. Collectively, they point to the worst possible outcome, extinction of all life on Earth, according to the conservative peer-reviewed literature. Please keep in mind that my recent scholarly work depends upon the research of others. I'm merely the messenger.